no, 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 no. I I'm not a burglar. I've never stolen a thing in my life. I'm afraid I have to agree with Mr. Baggins. He's hardly burglar material. Aye, the wild is no place for gentle folk who can neither fight nor fend for themselves. Enough! If I say Wilbur Baggins is a burglar, then the burglar he is. Hobbits are remarkably light on their feet. In fact, they can pass unseen by most if they choose. And while the dragon is accustomed to the smell of dwarf, the scent of a hobbit is all but unknown to him, which gives us a distinct advantage. You asked me to find the 14th member of this company, and I have chosen Mr. Baggins. There's a lot more to him than appearances suggest, and he's got a great deal more to offer than any of you know, including himself. You must trust me on this. Very well. We'll do it your way. No, no. Give him no. the contract. Warren, please. We're off. It's just the usual summary of out-of-pocket expenses. Time required, remuneration, funeral arrangements, so forth. Funeral arrangements? I'll be all right. Just let me sit quietly for a moment. You've been sitting quietly for far too long. Tell me... When did doilies and your mother's dishes become so important to you? I remember a young hobbit who was always running off in search of elves in the woods. You'd stay out late, come home after dark, trailing mud and twigs and fireflies. A young hobbit who would have liked nothing better than to find out what was beyond the borders of the Shire. The world is not in your books and maps. It's up there. I can't just go running off into the blue. I am a Baggins of Bag End. You are also a Took. Did you know that your great 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 uncle, Bullroarer Took, was so large he could ride a real horse? Yes, well, he could. In the Battle of Green Fields, he charged the goblin ranks. He swung his club so hard it knocked the goblin king's head clean off and it sailed a hundred yards through the air and went down a rabbit hole. I do believe you made that up. Well, all good stories deserve embellishment. You'll have a tale or two to tell of your own when you come back. Can you promise that I will come back? No. And if you do, you will not be the same. That's what I thought. Sorry, Gandalf, I can't sign this. You've got the wrong hobbit. It appears we have lost our burglar. Probably for the best. The odds were always against us. After all, what are we? Merchants, miners, tinkers, toy makers. <laughs> Hardly the stuff of legend. There are a few warriors amongst us. Old warriors. I would take each and every one of these dwarves over an army from the Iron Hills. For when I called upon them, they answered. Loyalty. Honor. A willing heart. I can ask no more than that. You don't have to do this. You have a choice. You've done honorably by our people. You have built a new life for us in the Blue Mountains. A life of peace and plenty. A life that is worth more than all the gold in Erebor. From my grandfather to my father, this has come to me. They dreamt of the day when the dwarves of Erebor would reclaim their homeland. There is no choice, Father. Not for me. Then we are with you, laddie. We will see it done.
into dungeons deep and caverns old, we must awake at break of day to find our long forgotten gold. The pines were. Like torches blazed with light. Hello? Don't stop! I'm already late! Late for what? I'm going on an adventure!